Hey guys, Logan here. In the last video, I squared up the cylinder head and I also done the heat treating to T6. Now, the next thing in the machining process, which I need to practice, is all the angles and stuff. So we need to do valve guides, we need all these different angles. So, what we're going to do, we have this piece of 20mm plate and we're going to make a sign plate, which um, it'll have some half rounds at either end. It'll all be attached, it'll be super smooth, it'll have some dowels in it which we can line the cylinder head up with bolt it to this and then I can um, using trigonometry which spent a bit of time going over that uh, I essentially prop one side up have it clamped in the mill and then I know exactly by having a precision height here it'll give us the exact angle we want and then we can machine away and with that let's head over to the milling machine and uh, square this thing up and there we go, I have the BFV back in the mill and I have the bit of steel in there, I've got it pretty flat. So the plan is I've got the carbide, going to take the metal off the top and then I'm going to change tooling, I'm going to do the sides here while it's in the same position, then I'm going to flip it, do the bottom and then I should just be able to flip it 90 degrees and do this side and flip it 90 again and do that side. Uh, 180 I mean and for coolant I have a 30 second spray and walk away bottle which I filled up with some water so I'm going to try to use that to keep the carbide cool um, and yep just see how we go <laughs> Alright after two quite light passes not looking too bad you can see we've still got a low spot there we've got to get rid of but yeah another another two and then yeah feels pretty good I'm gonna give it another skim just to clean up a couple errors I made earlier so I've been doing some off-camera machining because frankly that damn machine is getting on my nerves but anyway I have a surface it is pretty flat and I've got it close to symmetrical on bottom and top so I've measured it with my micrometer and yeah I've got the difference of 0.08 mil height difference from this edge to this edge it's symmetrical as well that way um, I've got all my measurements I need to plot out my four holes uh, where the head bolts and dowels are going to go so I can locate the cylinder head on this I did also clean up yeah, this side and this side as well for getting it clamped nice and square I want to measure everything at least three times with this because there's one thing I don't want to mess up like the machining it was a 20 mil plate I could just keep skimming till I got it quite right I don't want a whole bunch of holes in it I don't want it to be Swiss cheese so this will be used probably for a different couple cylinder heads so because I've designed this to go on the bottom end of an FXR the head bolt pattern's the same so in theory I should just be able to um, bolt FXR heads to this as well now that another thing which will have to be done at a later date I want to be able to attach this obviously upside down as well because I need to be able to do combustion chamber machining valve seats and stuff like that pilot holes done pretty happy with them now I just got to do them all in 6.5 mil and then the two opposite corners I need to do in 11 mil that's for the dowels to line up the cylinder head Now onto tapping the M8 threads for the head bolts. And quickly clean up these two ends which will look in a little bit rough. Despite the smoke this was actually quite a light cut. Onto the last six holes these have been piloted, drilled to size and deburred top and bottom. And there we go, that is the first part of the puzzle all done and dusted, so I'm pretty happy with this. There might be some minor finishing to do, but other than that, it's good to go. The second and third piece will be made from this chromoly bar here, and I need to cut it to this length here essentially, do a little bit of machining on it, so I need to grind a flat surface on it, drill it and tap it as well, and then that will line up with these holes here. So, let's grab the angle grinder and cut this to length. Had to go sharpen the drill, this 4140 is uh, a lot harder than mild steel. So anyway, I've got my first hole going. Now, 
what I've done is I've just spent some welding wire at a certain distance so I know that when this bottom's out my hole is at the correct depth so I'm not going to bust through the bottom. More M8 threads, this time they are blind. And a quick sand to clean this up. Wow, there's the first one done and dusted and it is actually ridiculously flat. Both ends, the middle, they all measure exactly the same which frankly I don't believe. But anyway, I checked it twice and I got the same results so I'm really happy with this. Now I've got to move on to the second one which is this here so hopefully things go as smoothly um, as the first one but I highly doubt it. Machining a bar, checking it twice, na na na, this is taking too long. There we go, second one all done and dusted. I did take a bit longer with this one as I was continuously measuring the diameter at each end and I actually made this one about three thou thicker than the first one and that is to accommodate for one end being three thou higher than the other. So that should all balance that out and it should be perfectly, well, I say perfectly flat, really, really close to flat. So now I just gotta do a quick test fit with my bolts and um, see if it's gonna work. I can't believe that they all fit. That's a miracle. There we go. Now, don't be alarmed, this table's not flat. That's why you can hear that. So I'm going to first go take it over to the milling machine, put it down on the table, see if it moves. There it is, I just chucked it on top of the vise. It was the only clean surface and yeah, it feels pretty solid, nice and flat. So now I'm gonna take it off and prop it up and measure some angles and see if it actually does what it's supposed to do. Now this will be the first sort of wee test. And so I have the spacer here, which is 46.2 mil. And in theory, the angle of the plate should be 13.35 or 36 degrees. Um, this only goes down to one decimal place, so it'll probably show either 13.3 or 13.4. So here we go, put that under there. Now this is zeroed, and we're going to put it on here. There you go, 13.4 degrees. And so that is exactly what we'd want. So I'd have spaces which were longer the whole length. And I would be able to clamp it down at both ends on the mill, make sure everything is parallel. And then, yeah, check my degrees. And as long as I know the precision height of this spacer, I can know what the degrees are. So now, if I put that on there and had it on the dowels and bolt it down like so, it means I could drill the oil gallery. So, yeah, this is all going according to plan. I'm super happy with how the sign plate has turned out. Believe it or not, this is probably the most precision thing I've ever made. And um, yeah, super happy with it. I am going to actually clean it up a little bit. I've bought myself a surface plate, so I'll be able to disassemble it and make this in the bottom surface even flatter. Just remove a little bit of the high spots. And uh, yeah, so on that note, this has been Logan from the Motorcycle Forge. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll catch you next time.